welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147. <clears throat> and I've got an unboxing for you today. Um, now, this one is sponsored. Um, so the company reached out and asked if I'd like to receive one of their kits um, and do some videos on it. So I said, sure. Um, any excuse for more diamond painting kits, I'm all up for that. Now, they did suggest that I get a minimum size of 60 by 60 to show the detail um, and asked me to pick one from their site. There were quite a few. Um, I must admit there were quite a few that I liked. Um, so I sent them a picture, of, I sent them about five um, and said, pick one and surprise me. Because then I've now got a surprise when I unbox this. Um, so this is from Victoria, Victoria's Moons.co.uk. Let me just pull up the website. Victoria's Moon.co.uk. So that's the website, Victoria's Moon.co.uk. And they do have loads and loads of diamond paintings to choose from. Now, the shipping was super quick. It did come, um, I think it was DHL. So I have just taken the little extra slip out so that I could hide my address. Um, shipping was very quick. It's packed in a box, which is always good. Um, whether they ship that same way for all, I don't know. But they don't ship from the UK. Um, I think this one showed us coming from somewhere in Europe. But I may be wrong. Anyway, let's have a look at what I got and indeed the quality um, of the diamond painting itself. They did ask whether I like square or round. Um, I did say I preferred square. However, I'm happy to do round. I'm just checking that I am only cutting through <laughs> shipping labels and not through anything else. Um, so we can get this outer cover off with any address details on and then we can have a look at it properly so it is boxed it has taken a little bit of a beating but it, it's still looking like a square box and to turn it around so we've got DIY 5d diamond painting best wishes for you shiny diamond diamond ancestry non ironing and 447 DMC standard colours, so that must be what they use. And then we've got some little images of putting the wax in your pen, picking the diamonds up, placing them down, and like a finished image. <coughs> so, so far, so good. I'm actually really excited to see which one this is. Even if life has stopped me from unboxing this for a week. <laughs> um, this did come a week ago and life has stopped me from unboxing it. Okay, so we are quite crushed at the end. Hopefully that is something that is salvageable. It's not the box, because the box is fine. So my guess is it's either when it was packed or something moving about from within here. And we are crushed at the other end as well. So we are also crushed at this end and it has picked up the shape of the box so which one did I get oh I still can't tell okay so let's in fact let's unravel this upside down first and check the back for any puckers okay so at the minute I'm not seeing any puckers I'm seeing creases from the shipping but I'm not seeing any puckers in the canvas um, which would mean I would have trouble fixing any glue if anything's gone wrong with that does look like we've got a 60 by 60. Okay, so toolkit first. So it's a very, very basic toolkit, as I call this, very basic. So we've got the oop, we've got the very little green boat with no cutout. Looks like we have some double-sided tape. Maybe that's if we need to fix anything, maybe. Yeah, it's double-sided tape. So we've got a little piece of double-sided tape. 
if we need to fix anything that's good um, we have the smallest piece of wax I've ever seen in my life that one is tiny um, let me have a look so that's one piece of wax that you get in that one this is your standard plate of wax that you get ever moment send you to but look it's like half the size of that <laughs> but having said that that should be enough I'm still going on my first piece of wax and I've done countless diamond paintings um, we've got a nine or a ten placer and a single placer and then we've got your very basic tweezers so that's the toolkit then we have diamonds oh they've sent me a pretty colored one look at all those colors and these are all done by weight so all the colors are done by weight as they are all in bags they're all in grip seal bags but as you can see we have a, a bag that's that full compared to a bag that's that full so that's 27.9 grams and that's 4.1 grams is that black <gasps> that's black so we have a big bag of black having a look at the bottom of it I'm not seeing not seeing trash that's always good so yeah oh we have some nice colors in here 3805 959 no, that's pretty 958 got a bright purple sorry I'm not sure if I'm actually keeping this in view so we've got some really nice colors quite a few really nice colors so that's good oh we have got creases here again on the canvas but we've got no puckers and we've just got one rogue diamond so let's move that out of the way and I still don't know what picture it is because there's no inventory sheet oh there is a picture on the canvas oh it's this pretty one can you see it's a very small picture hopefully we'll be able to see it better but it's just like a load of tropical flowers it was one that I did email them that I liked I will find it on my phone um, and of course you guys will have seen the thumbnail which will have the picture that it is um, it is a 60 by 60 and it is a square and the contact sheet goes the first piece goes all the way up here to all the way down here it's about 50 centimeters so i'm going to see if i can get this up without having to trim it first oh it peels up easy Let's see if we can see some of this image i struggle to get a 60 by 60 on my desk struggle with a 50 by 50 be honest but I do like my big paintings Ooh. we've got some very nice colors looking like in here and some very nice symbols don't have an inventory sheet but we can cope with that we'll have a look how many colors we've got in a moment just trying to get this up without causing any damage the glue is looking really good even with the creases I don't think it's going to cause a problem at all I'm going to try and make you see that oh wow this looks good very happy with the quality of the canvas I will need to trim it for working on it but I'll do that when I do my canvas preparation. So we've got some creases there, but the glue still looks fantastic underneath. We've got no issues. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see how far we can get it over. Still got a bottom strip that's not yet been done, but wow look at that doesn't that look good right let's see if i can get this 
flattened it's always easier to pull up the second time it does say it's USA adhesive it's not got the usual branding on the strips I don't think oh no maybe it has the bottom one called the Sunor group I can't remember yeah Sunor USA Sunor group that is what's on another painting of mine sat here a look at the other side wow so it has 33 colors it looks to have some very nice and very bright colors there we go you can tell now where i've got to the other side wow look at that that is awesome that's gonna look fantastic and the glue even with creases on the back the glue is looking perfect there's no bubbles that need squeezing out can't get this laid back on flat but that's my own fault yeah there's no bubbles on it on the glue there's nothing that needs cutting on the glue and then just to turn it round see here's Here's the contact paper sheet that we're used to seeing. So this one's a thin one. So let's just get this one pulled up and back down just to help flatten it out a bit. And the other side. Symbols are crystal clear. beautiful I'm happy with that one very happy with that one okay so let's pull up the symbols for you guys to have a look let's peel back that top corner so look at the glue even with the creases that glue there is nothing wrong with it whatsoever symbols are very clear what have we got what's 310 oh 310 is actually this green up here What's the big square? Big square is actually a pink, 718. So that's all the colours that we've got. You can see those. And the symbols say clear as day, or at least I think they are. How clear they are showing on the camera, I'm not sure. Um, just having a look to see if there's any that are sort of arrows facing two ways. No, we've got an arrow facing upwards, but we've not got one facing any other way. Oh, sorry, we have. We've got one facing at a diagonal, but we've not got one facing in an opposite direction. So there's nothing that looks to be doubled up to the point that if you had it facing upside down, you would struggle. So that's great. So let's have a look at the diamonds themselves. Let's do a little bit of inventory. Okay, so we've got number, th so they have got numbers. It's a bit like Huacan, though not quite. So it's got the number that it is on the painting, so number 13, DMC number of 613, and then the weight. So that's what we've got going on. So let's have a look, number 12, number 11. 17, 16, 30, 15, 10, number 2, Let's see if I can find number 1, 5, 7, there we go, so we've got number 1, 2, 3, Right, that was number eight, nine, number four is the three ten, four, five, okay, so you still need number six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, and then we've got twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, and twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33. So we've got all colours as they're supposed to be. They're all done in weights, so we need to trust the seller that there's enough. Um, it certainly looks like enough for a 60 by 60. Um, but yeah, really happy. That is an absolute awesome shade of colours. Um, my battery's flashing, so I'm going to change that and then we'll check out the size of the canvas um, and I'll also check these numbers against my heaven and earth designs for when I finished it. So be right back. Okay, I'm back. So what I'm gonna do quickly first while the diamonds are all out, apart from throwing stuff on the floor, um, I'm just gonna have a quick check if any of the numbers that I need for my heaven and earth designs to fill gaps only, to fill gaps are here. So 349 is a no, 552 is a no, and then 603 and 604, I've just pinched some off my daughter, a few of each, but I do have 603 in this painting, so that's good. I only need 18 for my heaven and earth design, so I reckon I'll be sorted with that. Uh, 893. 891, nope, we've not got 893, um, 930, no, um, 3350, we've got no 33s, 3806, no, we've got 3805 but no 3806 and that's it. Okay, so we don't have any that will fill gaps. But I'm sure we'll have some that will contribute towards it when we've done anyway. So that's definitely nothing that is the sellers the seller should be doing. Just for anybody that's not been following my heaven and earth designs or is just checking this out for the seller. That list has nothing to do with the seller at all. That's a side project for myself. So let's have a look at the measurements. So I'm going up here to where the printed area of the canvas is and having a look. And yeah, that is like a millimetre or so over 60 centimetres. So that is a true 60. And going the other way from here to here is a millimetre under 60. So a true 60 by 60 centimetre, happy that that is as advertised. Um, let me see if I can find the picture because I did save it in my camera roll so I could email it to the seller. Okay, should have done that before, shouldn't I? But anyway, that is the image. So that's the image I took a screenshot from their site um, for any that interests me. Um, that actually was the first one in my email. Um, however, I am not disappointed because that is an awesome looking picture in my opinion. It's a lot of black, but you know, let's test the black as well while we're at it. But yeah, that is the image. Really happy with that. So I'm probably gonna get this one kitted up soon um, just so that I can give it its due review, but pretty. Yeah, so um, I say this is from victoriasmoon.co.uk. Um, I will put the link down below so that you can have a look. Um, I'll direct you to this painting and then of course you can have a look around the whole site. 
but I'm really happy, even though the canvas has got a bit bashed in the box, the box itself was fine, so I don't think it was a, you know, a shipping courier stomping on it or anything. Um, it may have been the diamonds moving around in it. It may have been the way it was put it into the tube. However, regardless of that, the diamond, the glue itself is completely fine. The symbols, I'm actually close to calling them beautiful. They're actually really nice symbols. They're different between each one, even when there's a lot of confetti, um, which isn't in a lot of places, but there is the odd place with a lot of confetti. I'm not struggling between any symbols, so I do think they are very clear. Um, colours look gorgeous. Diamonds look good quality. I mean, you never know with diamonds until you actually start placing with placing them, actually start using them, but they look good from what I can see in the bags. So yeah, very, very happy. Um, I will keep you updated. We'll do a kitting up and things like that. But yeah, so thank you very much to um, Victoria's Moon. Um, for sending me this painting um, I am look quite very looking forward to doing this one um, and we'll see how it turns out so thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon